Hey guys, Barrett here from Pickleball Kitchen. It is like 30 degrees out here, but this is the perfect time for me to talk to you guys about how to return those crazy spin shots. So if you're getting stuck on some crazy spin, you see some someone doing this kind of stuff and their return is coming over and you're getting stuck at the baseline, it's bouncing forward, all that sort of junk, this is the video for you. So let's get started. You have to excuse my speech. My, my lips are so cold that I can't talk very fast. Maybe that's a good thing. And please pardon the, the background noise here, but let me just kind of give you a general look of what I have set up here. I've got my ball machine set up way in the back here, and I'm just going to feed myself some shots. I'm going to show you guys how these spin shots work and what to do against them. So if I turn on my ball machine here, I, I can just feed myself some regular balls here. There's no spin on these shots or anything. They're just kind of regular shots here. And the thing is, is that these balls, the reason why I talked about the, uh, the, the temperature is because these balls are rock hard. And I suspect that because of that, going to have some interesting situations with spin. But that's just kind of a regular, a regular pattern here. Nothing crazy. But the one thing that can really mess people up is that back spin. So let me change the settings on the machine and then we'll get started. Okay, now I've cranked the backspin setting on the machine all the way up. Keep in mind that the amount of spin this machine can get on the ball is ludicrous. You're not really going to see spin like this very often, especially not spin this perfect. So just to give you kind of an idea of what this looks like, I want you to just watch the flight of the ball here. Did you notice how it was sort of floating over and then it kind of stops dead like that? That is backspin and it's really really wild when you look at it okay because it, the ball sort of it kind of like floats at you you know backspin is coming when your opponent when your opponent's body language is up to down so when they are striking the ball high and then low like this backspin is coming your way here's what happens you remember the the half colored ball here I had a video about, about this kind of ball and how useful it can be. When someone hits backspin like this, okay, the ball is going to spin back towards the person. So if your opponent is here, okay, they hit the ball like this, it's gonna spin like that. You see how that works? Okay, the, the ball is spinning back towards them. But when it's coming towards you, so you're over here, that ball is spinning this way. Well, what's going to happen when it lands on the ground? It's going to bounce back like this. Now, it's, it may not actually bounce back that way, but since the ball is spinning so violently backwards, and since it's also coming forward at the same time, it's going to kind of stop dead or it will bounce low. So in order to return a spin shot like this, believe it or not, it's not so much about the stroke. It's about getting in position and recognizing that that kind of shot is coming over in the first place. So the thing I'm thinking about, when I see the body language, the body language is the cue, not the ball. If you're noticing that backspin is coming by watching the ball, you're probably too late. What's important is watching that body language. So when I'm seeing that body language come and I see the stroke down like that, what I'm gonna try to do is come forward a little bit more and get ready for that ball to stop dead. So I see the stroke coming over, I'm going to move forward a little bit more. And did you see how, even though I was way back here, the trajectory of that ball was telling, was telling myself that I should probably move back because it was coming at me. But the rational part of me said, no, there's backspin on the ball. I saw the body language. I know what I saw. Thus, that ball is going to stop short and I need to scoot forward a little bit more. So again, this is an extreme example for clarity that the spin that 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 this machine can produce is ludicrous again, but I'm trying to show it to you in an extreme way so that you'll be ready. So again, here comes the spin, scoop forward, and then hit the ball. Notice how far I had to come forward for that. It's ridiculous, right? Awesome. And I was able to meet the ball properly there. So, and that right there will show you just what happened there. I didn't mean, I, I meant to turn the machine off, but a ball went ahead and came out anyway. Do you notice how I sort of casually stepped forward, but I wasn't even close to being ready for that ball. If I had tried to hit that ball, I would have probably missed it on the tip of my paddle. 
I would have hit it with the net, popped it up, or whatever. So that's backspin. The other thing is that although, and it's probably due to the weather and po quite, quite possibly the wind, although this ball is stopping short and a lot of that spin because of it striking the ground is coming off the ball, so there's not that much spin, oftentimes with backspin, there is still spin on the ball. So again, with that backspin, if you're over here and it's coming this way, when the ball bounces, there can still be spin on the ball. What's gonna happen when you strike this ball? It's gonna go down. When it comes off your paddle, it's gonna come down. So when, you're, you, when you are hitting backspin shots from your opponent, you have to hit a little bit further up than what you're used to. So again, here comes the shot. Gotta hit up a little bit more on the ball. And that really helps to make sure that the ball actually comes over the net because so many times what will happen is people hit in the net like that because they're not expecting the ball to, to go that low. That's a very common thing. All right, if I hit it normally like that, that's what happens. I hit it normally, but if I hit it a little bit higher, I can make sure I get the ball actually over the net, which, you know, it's kind of the goal, right? We're about to move on to top spin in a second, but make sure you really understand the beginning of the process of hitting backspin back to your opponent is understanding that cue. When this cue happens, when you see this kind of motion, backspin is on its way. <laughs> and that should give you that sort of clarity, right? Or the permission, I guess you could say, to trust the fact that that ball is going to bounce short, it's going to bounce low, and it's still going to have some spin on it. Now, the next thing to talk about here is top spin. So, top spin is one of these things. If you're a PK Academy member, which is my my premium vid, uh, video service, you've heard all about top spin. I am big on top spin. I think people should start learning top spin, but more importantly, people need to begin to fight against top spin. Now, as a disclaimer, this this machine is putting insane amounts of topspin on the ball okay but just just to give you kind of a general look here i want you to check out how top, what topspin looks like when it comes over the net so here comes the first ball here notice that little dive so once the ball gets to the apex see how it kind of dives down like that that is classic topspin okay and there is a ludicrous amount of spin there is so much spin i can hardly see the balls on or uh, i can hardly see the holes on the ball here why is topspin so popular? Why do I talk about it so much? The reason is, is because it makes the ball pop up off the paddle. It is one of the most effective ways to cause a pop-up, and thus the setup, and you know what happens after that. Fun time, right? So that's why topspin is so crucial, it's so critical. But the problem is, is that a lot of people don't know that topspin is coming, right? And it, they get in a lot of trouble, so again, your opponent is here, here's the spinny ball. Instead of the ball spinning this way, like with backspin, the ball is instead going to spin forward. The top of the ball is going to go forward. It's like this. Very different than backspin. It's the exact opposite of backspin, obviously. What this is going to do is when the ball is coming over the net, it's gonna make the ball curve down, okay? It's gonna sink as the ball is coming over. But most importantly, when it hits, when it hits the, the court. It's going to bounce forward a little bit, just a smidge, depending on how much spin is on there. But when it hits your paddle, it is going to pop up off your paddle because the ball is spinning this way. It's spinning this way, and so it's going to climb up, so to speak, your paddle. It doesn't actually climb, you know, but it, it reacts up off the ball. The other important thing here is that when people are putting topspin on the ball, they can put a lot of pace on the ball as well. And the reason why they can do that is because of that curvature coming over, that keeps the ball from actually going out. And so they can hit the ball harder and thus faster and thus when it hits your paddle, it's gonna come off a lot faster. Now, at this point in time, I've been out here for about 30 minutes, all of my instruments here, <laughs> my paddle and, and all these balls and uh, the camera and everything are just absolutely ice cold. So what you're going to see is a lot of explosive action off the paddle. Keep in mind, if, if, it, you know, if you're watching this six months later and it's the middle of summer, you may not get that as much. So just, just keep that in mind. But I want you to watch the behavior of the ball when it strikes my paddle. Okay? Look how violently that comes off. 
Okay, I am hardly hitting this ball. I mean, look at that. And even if I were to just tap the ball like this, still it goes way, way, way far, okay? That is what topspin does. There are two general things that you can do when it comes to topspin. First of all, you have to hit the ball a little bit lower. You gotta hit it lower. So you gotta push that wrist forward and kinda like, you wanna feel like you're kinda pointing the paddle down. That will keep the ball from popping up so much. And second of all, and really most importantly, you have to respect the pace that is on that ball. You have to respect the fact that the ball is moving very quickly. I can't just hit it normally like I typically do, right? Because it's just gonna go way too far. Instead, what I have to do is sort of hit the ball down. I feel like I'm almost gonna hit it directly into the net. That, that ball that I just hit there, that typically would have gone into the net. Absolutely, it felt like it. I could feel that, but it didn't. <laughs> it didn't because of the topspin. So again, I'm gonna to try to hit the ball a little bit lower than what I'm used to and really making sure that I'm lining up properly when I come through the shot here because the ball is moving very, very fast. Ugh. That ball's broken. Now that's more I'm on a ground stroke here, but the, quite, the big question is what do you do on a third? Because oftentimes that return is coming over, ton of topspin on it. What do you do before the third shot drop? That is really tough. You basically have two options. You can either drive the ball to sort of take the top spin off, or you kind of have to like, like sort of chip it a little bit. Thinking about back to my golf days, right? You kind of have to like, like that. I mean, look at how far that went. You can see on the other camera here, I'm just barely nudging this ball. I mean, again, these balls are just absolutely frozen, but you can tell how violently that ball comes off. So trust the top spin here. This pace and the spin on the ball is going to do the work for you. The only thing you have to do is meet the ball with your paddle. All right guys, so those are spinny shots and how to return them. Keep those things in mind as you go out to the court. But guys, it's all about that cue. Did someone come up to down or is someone doing a top spin motion. Those things will really help you out. Begin there. I hope this was helpful. Pickleballkitchen.com slash membership. Go sign up for PK Academy. The results of people have been getting are just absolutely unreal. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.